Ways to grow new brain cells and stimulate neurogenesis. There are about 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy and there are the same amount of neurons in your brain. Neurons are brain cells that receive electrochemical signals from the brain and nervous system. They're the units of communication that are linked to each other through thousands of connections called synapses. These connections ultimately create the entire network of your brain. If you want to have a healthy and sharp brain for the rest of your life, then you need to do the following, protect your currently existing brain cells. Expose yourself to neuroplasticity as a habitual thing. Facilitate the growth of new neurons. Prevent your new brain cells from dying again. The biggest thing that kills your brain cells is too much stress. To protect your brain cells from dying, you need to take stress management seriously and make it an active part of your routine. Neuroprotection for your brain cells, neuroplasticity is a crucial aspect of healthy brain development and maintenance. How to grow new brain cells and stimulate a neurogenesis. An exercise regimen. Everybody knows that exercise is good for your overall health and heart, but in recent findings, powerful evidence has proven that exercise is great for your brain. Scientific experiments have discovered that mice consistently using running wheels had around 2x the amount of hippocampal neurons brain cells as the mice that didn't exercise. Another study at Columbia University found that humans who had an exercise training program were able to grow and maintain new brain cells and nerve cells in the hippocampus region of the brain. The specific area called the dentate gyrus is responsible for helping produce neurogeneus. Even more studies have discovered that those who exercised had 2 to 3x increases in the birth rate of new neurons. 2. Taking time for meditation. Meditation has always thought to have been beneficial for the brain. Recent compelling evidence from scientific researchers at Yale, Harvard, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology revealed that meditation can allow us to grow bigger brains. Though this isn't the same thing as neurogenesis, meditation could very well be an activity that boosts the birth rate of neurons. Meditation is known to boost brain activity, coherency of brain waves, strengthen neural connections, and thicken gray matter. Though scientists haven't confirmed the effects of meditation and its ability to aid neurogenesis due to complexity issues, there is a likely possibility that it helps. 3. Antidepressant drugs. Scientific research by the National Institute of Mental Health has proven that antidepressants work by allowing our brains to grow new brain cells, neurons. In a 2003 study, scientists discovered that when they blocked the formation of new neurons in the hippocampus brain region, behavioral effects of the antidepressant Prozac, fluoxetine, were diminished. Research has already understood that depression, stress, and anxiety disorders can cause death of neurons in the brain. More studies have demonstrated that most other antidepressants on the market can and will trigger the growth of new neurons. Even more interesting is the fact that besides humans, adult animals grow new neurons when given antidepressant drugs. Though there are many other interactions in the brain with antidepressants, their primary beneficial effect from them is derived from their ability to produce neurogenesis. Now if scientists can only figure out a way to induce the amount of neurogenesis that antidepressant medication does without creating a new drug. 4. An enriched environment. Science has long known that living in a mentally stimulating environment versus an impoverished environment is far better for brain development. Research has found that exposure to an enriched environment enhances neurogenesis functioning and is able to regulate emotionality. Scientists have found that memory-based tasks were far improved in the hippocampus region of the brain when human beings are raised in a healthy, enriched environment. One study found that mice put in stimulating environments actually had larger hippocampus regions than did those living in standard or poor laboratory conditions. They discovered a direct correlation between an enriched environment and the amount of neurons produced in the brains of mice. This had a significant effect on neurogenesis. 5. The act of learning. Though scientists have long known that new brain cells are able to enhance learning, they never thought that learning could actually cause the birth of new brain cells, that is, until recently. In recent animal studies, researchers have found that there was a direct relationship between learning and the survival rate of newly birthed brain cells. When researchers taught certain rodents a wide variety of cognitive tasks which involved a wide range of brain areas, scientists found that the more the animal learned, the more new neurons were able to survive in the hippocampus. Scientists have made it clear that learning can increase the presence of new neurons in the brain. 
Brain cells that are born in the hippocampus, which normally die off, are literally rescued by learning experiences. There is still plenty of research being conducted in this area and not all sources agree. However, your best bet is to keep your brain power boosted and your mind sharp. Always try to learn something new. 6. Sexual experience. I think most people agree that sex is one of the best mood boosters and pleasurable activities of all. A study conducted by Lunar, Glasper, and Gould discovered that sexual experience promotes adult neurogenesis in the hippocampus. If you are already having regular sex, your brain is likely growing some new neurons as a result. Although sex does produce an initial stress response, the final result is more neurons. Based on most studies, sex is a good thing for your brain. 7. Restricting caloric intake. The phenomena of calorie restriction has continued to puzzle researchers. They have found that eating less food can lead to significant increases in longevity. Even when starting calorie restriction in middle age, it is able to produce around a 10 to 20 percent increase in lifespan. It has also been associated with hundreds of biological changes and can harbor our ability to produce new brain cells. Restricting calorie intake has been associated with increases in neurogenesis and a better overall neuroprotective effect in the brain. Scientists have found that calorie-restricted animals nearly always stay active and healthy up until the end of their lives. This phenomena has also been associated with a significantly lowered likelihood of developing a degenerative brain disease and can even produce new nerve cells. 8. Curcumin. Curcumin is found in the popular Indian spice turmeric, part of the ginger family. It has been documented that curcuminoids have been shown to have brain-boosting and cognition-enhancing properties. 9. Whole grains. Whole wheat, oat, barley, rye and millet, these grains have a few very important things in common. First, these carbohydrates pack slow-released glucose sugar to fuel the body and power brain function. And second, whole grains are a rich source of soluble fiber, which helps lower cholesterol, and in turn, the risk of brain injuries. 10. Berries. Blueberries are super high in antioxidants, such as vitamin E, which protect the blood vessels and the brain from the dangerous effects of free radicals and age-related cognitive loss, while at the same time improve learning capacity, memory, and motor skills. 11. Dark chocolate. Does it surprise you to see chocolate on a list of healthy brain foods? But a square of dark chocolate is rich in antioxidants, chemicals that protect the brain from free radical damage and encourage blood flow to the brain, leading to improved concentration and memory function. 12. Omega-3 Fatty Acids It has been found that omega-3 fatty acids can upregulate neurogenesis in adults. Omega-3s are made up of two primary components, EPA and DHA. EPA and DHA are both polyunsaturated fatty acids found in the body's central nervous system. Supplementation has been linked to a whole heap of neuroprotective and cognitive benefits, in addition to the enhancement of neurogenesis. If you aren't sure where to get these fatty acids, think fishy foods. Many people are turning to supplementation, I would personally recommend high-grade krill oil if you are going the supplement route. 13. Green Tea. Green tea is known to contain a substance called ECGC. This substance has been confirmed to enhance neurogenesis in the brains of adult mice. Although there are no conclusive studies in humans regarding ECGC's ability to promote growth of new cells, most evidence supports the fact that green tea has positive effects on mental performance. I would hypothesize that ECGC would be a catalyst to the growth of new cells in humans as well. 14. Exposure to natural sunlight will make your body produce vitamin D. Vitamin D is crucial for cardiovascular health and other metabolic processes. It also increases BDNF. Here's an incredible combination, go exercise outside in an enriched environment with new things. Do some training you haven't done before like crossfit, gymnastics, bouldering or just go for a hike. It's going to trigger novelty and neurogenesis at the same time. Just growing new brain cells doesn't mean that you'll have them for life. You have to maintain and cultivate them constantly most importantly, you have to challenge yourself physically as well as mentally daily as to keep yourself sharp as to say. There's the saying, what you don't use, you'll lose, and that's definitely true for your fitness, mindset and neurons. Thanks for watching. Please like, share this video. Please subscribe to my channel, be healthy. Thank you.